Hey guys! Alright folks, we're here today to check out another video from Endless Chain. We are all vulnerable. Alright, yes we are. There we are. Uh, some of us more than others, but we kind of are. Alright, some dead rock from Finland. Are you ready for some dead rock from Finland? Of course. Alright, let's fucking get what, this what, shit going. What, what was the band that I, I said to you the other day that uh, that was dead rock, the, but it was so throwback, it was un unreal? Fuel. Fuel. Yeah, fuel. Dude, every day we get closer and closer. <laughs> To what? I don't know. To the edge, and we're about to break. Six feet from the edge. I trusted life and now I'm wasted away. Rusted life and now I'm wasted away.
Dude, these guys have a time machine. They went back in time and they found Thomas before the face tattoos. I was about to say, this and is... And they uh, brought him to the future. Dude. <laughs> Which Don band is this? Fuck. Don of the Waves. Jesus, Don of the Waves. Uh, Jesus Christ. It sounded like him and it looked like a young version of him. It's unreal. Endless chain. We are vulnerable. This was not that rock. This was not that rock at all. Was this was say. not that rock. This was fucking... Um, n nothing else matters if Metallica was a Finnish band with a better drummer. It had a little bit of that nothing else matters Dude, vibe it, it to was it. Fucking Thomas, man. Like, what the hell? This is way better than that first single that we did, that first video that we did on the channel, the Dead Rock one. This one is way better. The, yeah. the, the video is better. And the sound. And, the, and the, the song is way, way better. Way better. Although I love myself some Dead Rock. Even though that Dead Rock one was really good, I'm not, yeah. I'm not dissing that track. But this is like... Dude, this is some good shit. The mixture of the harsh vocals with, the, with that, those haunting clean vocals. The sound, the guitar sound... So warm, so filling. It's funny. The it drums, sounds like a mixture of beautiful a, doom ballad. Yeah, man. It, it sounds like a, a mixture of a, a Donna Sala song with a Wolf Heart song. Yeah, yeah. Because uh, you have the the clean vocals of a Donna Sala song, written by a Finnish Metallica. <laughs> sure. Because it had a little bit of the nothing else matters because, vibe to me. I don't know. For me, it's like those softer parts are the Donna Sala's parts with the clean vocals and everything. And then boom, brings up the harsher vocals, more the wolf heart parts. Um, dude. Or Before the Dawn. Before the Dawn also has harsh vocals. But, but not that same style. Before the Dawn is, is it's a different, it's a different style. <laughs> of course. The, it's, the, different it's a different style of, 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 of band of music band. and also a different style of harsh vocals. I, I get it. Yeah. But dude, this is like, right away I'm like, this is not dad rock. But this is pretty fucking good, like... This is better than Dead Rock. This, this, this is a phenomenal track. Yeah. Dude, this is a phenomenal uh, track. It fires on all cylinders. It's it's so... Like, the, the Musically, video... video it's good. Musically, it's haunting. And uh, those vocals... The, the Would have been haunting even without the harsh vocals. Because those clean vocals are phenomenal. Yeah. I honestly, like, I was not even expecting harsh vocals. Because those clean vocals of course are, not. are so good. Are so good. Yeah, I wasn't expecting the the harsh ones either. Young Thomas coming out, but uh, fuck, this song is good. I I'm I'm a little bit, I'm a little not confused, but I'm a little um, flabbergasted by this because that that video that we did originally that we got introduced by uh, to the band with, uh, obviously the video wasn't great. Is like a was like a lyric video or whatever, um, and the song had a very dead rock vibe to it for sure. Um, this is completely not even different. in the same ballpark. Completely. Different. How are these two songs on the same record? Like, I don't know, man. There's got to be a good explanation that we don't even know. Fuck! Uh, this is phenomenal, phenomenal song. Totally in, into the vibe of the shit that I like to hear. Mm -hmm. You know, it it has that hauntingness to it, like like swallow the sun vibe, like that yeah. that doom vibe, like a doom ballad. Cause it's a ballad, but it's it's like a doom ballad with harsh vocals. Harsh. Oh, fuck. This is really fucking good. The sound, the guitar sound on this song, it's so good. It's crisp, but it's warm. It fills it fills in the room. It fills the space. It's, it's such a such a great track sound wise. And man, I, and and I love that at the end when you have the two vocals coming in together with the harsh vocals up top and the clean vocals underneath. You can barely hear the clean vocals. They're there just to really create a little bit of ambiance. Mm -hmm. And then the harsh vocals are the ones leading the charge. So good. Such a good song. Like, really well executed. Great sound. Uh, fuck, great vocals. What can I say? Huh. There's nothing to say. This, this, if this, if this song was released by amorphous uh swallow the sun or whoever everybody would be renting and raving about how good this song is oh my god look at the latest track from them it's amazing uh, and those bands are amazing i'm not i'm not i'm not putting them down that's the not what i'm saying like uh, uh, it would be more of a yeah um swallow the sun song more than amorphous yeah but i think amorphous can also pull it off yeah, but just I with one singer but and, i think i think swallow the sun yeah a little bit more of a swallow the sun vibe for sure but uh it's but it's that finished melancholy. It's just so well done on this track, so well done because 
it's a ballad, but it still has heaviness to it. So it's not a full on like a hundred percent like ballad through and through. It is a ballad, but it, it it still gives you those those peaks of a little bit more heaviness. Not just heaviness on the vocals, but heaviness on the sound as well. I, I'm blown away. I, I honestly I came in expecting another dead rock song, which was good. But I was kind of expecting that kind of vibe, like, you know, hmm. radio-friendly rock song and whatever. I'm six feet from the edge and I'm thinking I'm maybe six feet, eight, so, you know. I don't know, but it's okay. It's good that I don't. Uh, it was the song you wanted when we went to go see Creed. You're like, oh, let's leave. I'm like, this song is good. That was no good song. Was, the, the, only, the only thing I take away from that Creed show is that I finally figured it out that... Uh, my arms wide open is about him having a kid and welcoming his kid to the world mm -hmm. and showing him, you know, the world, embracing mm. his kid. And I just heard the news today. It's like he didn't know his wife was pregnant. Seeing my life <laughs> on a train. Uh, fuck. Begin to pray <laughs> in tears of joy. Why every time we talk about that rock, you go creed? <laughs> With arms wide, wide open. open. Under um, the sun. I, I don't care how much people hate that song. It's a fucking it's good song. It's a really song. good song live, too. Like, it is a fucking good everyone song. Everyone gets into it. And, and you know what? Once you know the story behind it, or, or like like I said... It I, makes an emotion. Yeah. Like, if you're a father or a mother, like if you, if you have kids, that, that song is fucking emotional. Like it, it, it takes you back to that moment when you became uh, a father. For me, it was with a Tim Hortons cup and almost missing the birth. But that's a different story altogether. We're not here to discuss that. But anyhow, I gotta say you were uh, you were fitting into Canadian customs very well. I blamed the doctor because he told me I had time. <laughs> Birth is not one of those things where it's like you think I got twenty minutes. Yeah, it should be fine. Yeah, he told me I have plenty of time. This kid is not coming out anytime soon. He was thinking maybe it was like winter sun. It was gonna take twelve years for you to come out, but um, no, no. You, you came a little bit quicker. Mm -hmm. You're quick on the draw. So, uh, and you came head first, too. Which is good. That's how you want it. Yeah, that's how you want it. You don't want to come out like tackling, slight tackle mm -hmm. out of the puss. Slight tackle you, out of the puss is not good. No, because then you're wearing as a hat. Not only that, you could have the umbilical cord yeah. wrap around your neck. So that's not a, that's not, that's not good shit. Like normally if the baby is like that, it means it's breached. You have to do like a cesarean section or something like that. A cesarean section? Yeah. Okay. I've never heard someone call it a cesarean section in my life. No, what because is C section, the C is the, the short for the cesarean. I know, but when you like, say cesarean, you... I'm like, oh, what is this, Game of Thrones? I'm a Targaryen. <laughs> I'm a cesarean. Okay, we're getting completely sidetracked on this. Can uh, can we get some final thoughts? What do you think? Final thoughts was, the song is fucking great, man. Like, it, I'm very, I'm, I'm both intrigued and confused. I'm like, I'm confused how the fuck is this song and the other song in the same album? But I'm intrigued. How is this going to work? Well, the album is out. You guys can go check it out. Uh, if you enjoyed this track, go definitely give them a follow. Uh, go hit them up on the socials. Uh, listen to the album on, on iTunes or whatever it is that you listen to your music. This song is fucking mint. Mint. Let me just say that. All right? And on that note, we'll see you all at the next video. See ya.